Hello guys, here Kenny Ofrenes from Plan on Surreal Industry, Film Industry and Visual Effect Design Industry. Alright, mm, today is my, I mean this is my first tutorial for the YouTube, so I'm gonna show you how we can explore to make this poster, the new, the new upcoming movie. Carrie 2013. We just start uh, starting with the uh, Chloe Moritz. So uh, we're gonna take to this our uh, uh, our photograph picture from the Hick. So let's get started. All right. Here's the picture you can find on Google. That's uh, Chloe Moritz okay. portrait. Season. Season. So it's this tutorial is gonna be challenge to you guys who don't know how to use Photoshop. Well, I mean, while do uh, you guys if you know how to use the Photoshop, it will be more easier to you. So. <coughs> So it's gonna be I'm gonna take uh, something like this picture yeah of course this picture so I already have in my folder right now yes so as you can see if we take two and this so it's gonna be set on on it and <coughs> all on it and, and this to file is gonna be our crack face I mean something like uh, if you see the poster of it so the let's see this the upcoming movie that will uh, release on October so as you can see the picture they, they I thought that uh, they're using to this picture that I want to use of course they will use that Alright, mm, so we're gonna make the simple design, something like this. Like as you can see. So the thing is, I'm gonna show you guys a bit. Uh, how can we make uh, something like this? Mm. Let me scale a bit. So this picture has been taken with the background. A PNG is a background around there but this is a good good uh, good photograph because the background is too far from the foreground what I mean if you uh, take a picture and your foreground oops doesn't matter if your if your foreground is uh, near the with the near with the background they will be crashed I mean the foreground will catch a uh, light from the background something like you using the green screen if you too too close near with the background they're gonna catch some the edge the edge your uh, foreground edge will catch some behind background light so I have to say the uh, when you taking picture with the green screen or, or a blue blue screen, you have to take uh, too far or I mean don't get too close. That will be easy easier to remove the background. So this how we can make it. So as you can see, there's I I got my um, my background. They got a little to be crass, a little bit crass, crass, like something bad. So okay, we gotta settle all of it. So let's bring our picture to the new composition. All right. Right now for uh. 
the people who news in the photoshop you can follow as long as i do right now but instead don't i mean if you're new you better you training first you look at the other video on the youtube a lot of video there how you can get started with the photoshop so i thought that the photoshop is easier to use it's really easy and all right let's get started this background has been locked so we have to unlock it so if you want to unlock it you can double click or you can go to from the file all right so we call this oh more it's all right now it has been on the now we able to edit this picture so i'm gonna take my eraser tool for the background as you can see for the news uh, feature of the photoshop the you will got this this tools if you are the older one i don't think that you got i think that from the photoshop cs4 to the cs6 they all have this tool all right so you can just click it for it so i mean uh yeah uh don't get don't get too too fast to ed edit it, your picture because as you can see if i delete this they are gonna catch some of it so i don't want to do that All right so first thing that i want to do is uh, go to image and just go to edit a bit uh, of the color correction make it they are not that together color with it so all right this good this got the black now as you can see they still got because they are too dark so not so good sorry let's get to break they are not good so so to ch double check your foreground how it's removed how is it is it good or it's gonna be really uh, not good so as you can see this is <coughs> looking good for it. right now it's looking good but if we go uh, some grab the solid color and make it red put it behind as you can see they have a little noise right there you can see that's what you want to see so we can go to just delay that a bit so all right sorry make it make it uh, that hardness and make sure that you are great all right <coughs> Uh, so this not really challenge so let's get uh, back to the razor tool so now, yeah. right. right that's right I think they are great alright let's it's really looking great so we can delete the solid color but they have a little crash in there it doesn't matter at all so I'm gonna take my background put it on it and if you're scaling 
don't just hold and scale they gonna pop like this so you have to hold on save hold on shift and drag it sorry hold on shift and drag, uh, drag it so there it is you gonna perfect scale and you got the smart object to remove the smart object you just click the eraser eraser tool and <coughs> just that sorry <coughs> I'm too really my voice mm. my mouth like a sticky something stick after eating something I got it never mind not necessary so let's get back to the work so let's just color correction for it so we got this our foreground just move a bit or uh, to see this or I hope that's great but we wanna get something like this how we can do right mm, something that we can do we can do from the background let's color correction the background and then the foreground that's easier make it flat and make it something like this gonna be something green green feel and that's what we want to, to catch and make it dark that match really match so I'm gonna get uh, this the thing that problem is as you can see the background is not really got lightning but the foreground is got like that's not really match so we can do making the exposure and things alright that's great And the other thing that we want to make is uh, red eyes. So if you guys doing something the zoom tool like this, I'm not using that. I'm using this percentage. So uh, you see 150, and they're gonna zoom like that. Create new layer and call this <coughs> as the red eyes. There it is and make sure your color is a uh, red dark red all right like this that uh, just draw it make it all black red And then we're not gonna leave it like this because this to if even you using the opposite or uh, opacity for the opacity down that's uh, gonna be looking as this king what opacity is not really doing well no so I'm gonna use the overlay something like multiply that's great and we bring down the opacity opacity and the red eyes red eyes you gotta be double duplicate the layer and call this the glow we call this glow all right and do not leave it like that we're going to use the something like glow using the cursion lure so using like this they gotta get something get the uh, color as you can see the different so that there is so the other thing that we're gonna use it for is so making the blood like crying blood or something else so we call this blood of course 
gonna make the pressure is really small it's a five rank right? about five something like that that's a good point something like this so for like this alright that's great raise it for it so that's great but instead we wanna check it for it so just take it whatever that you like linear light is really great delete it a bit make it a uh, feather on the, on the edge and go to, go to the blending tools and go to open here bevel and boost and make sure your highlight is turned down you're not gonna catch the highlight and you're gonna catch the shadow mode and using the drop shadow and also make the uh, the opacity down in your shadows make the opacity down here it is the what we got that's cool the uh, other thing that we wanna make to cut like this that's cool but lot of thing that we have to do <coughs> all right this one uh, by the way I got this from the uh, Google so I type the crack then I got this that's simple right all right you can take it and drop it on it so we gotta bring, bring the opacity down and see when uh, I line up with the face that's great and turn on Mix, make this up and delete that uh, so delay Your screen no nope. set this multiply that's good make sure that hotness not to bring down that will be make some more blur so we're gonna make this not really great might be this great soft light that's great right and take it one more thing it down and where's that we want using like this and then uh, <coughs> press ctrl c and ctrl v they will copy so 
doesn't need to delete everything again so I'm using like this to build the soft light that's great now I'm using that so that's a lot more easier then it's uh, can be like just a bit that's it that's great all right I like it I like it yeah that's nice yeah, I love it all right the final one or uh, or maybe you can duplicate can be looking someone nasty And final at the end, I'm gonna uh, put some color correction. So bring this up and contrast like this. To make the photographic look like, we're gonna use the fibrance. They are really good job to do that. So, so basically, I'm just going to use the other tool to make his brains down brains up. can do something like hmm, frames frame of it so make it some more black and make it really too high and make it the hardness down so we can feel like this good <coughs> alright guys I think I'm gonna end like this you can try find the color correction to make this but I would like to use the green because the when the horror movie they're using green feel like something like that so this is great also uh, well well guys thank you so much for watching my video my tutorial uh, in this next tutorial I'm gonna show you guys uh, with the <coughs> tutorial I'm not, I'm not just gonna show you and I'm also gonna teach you how we can use the 3d program call it cinema 4d and a lot of things there and brings back to the photoshop rendering on the cinema 4d using the 3d model uh, from the turbo squid you can buy it or you can find it out there on the internet there's a lot thing that you can do all right and this two program a lot thing that you can do trust me so there's no nothing look like saying that
cool there's uh, some inspiration how you can make your graphic uh, graphic photograph for the, for your creation so mm, I'm gonna show you guys something that we're gonna make uh, next in the next tutorial all right this one joker type so this is this 3d model comes uh someone made it i don't know who but i bought <coughs> i bought it from the internet and <coughs> from uh i'm i bought with the texture and everything complete and the other thing that background and other thing that we can use it for for the final comb side we using the photoshop for it so as you can see that's um, the lens door and <coughs> all right i'm gonna teach you also how we can use the how we can cheat it on it to make a lens door in the photoshop in the next tutorial the photograph never end and hope you guys really enjoy in this tutorial while the next tutorial as well and don't forget to subscribe like and comment and yeah i think there it is thank you guys for watching